Hi, Dan Ockets here. I thought I'd give you guys a little quick tutorial on uh, Final Cut Pro X and how to change uh, perspective. Uh, as you see this shot as we scan through it here, you'll see that um, the walls skew pretty seriously at different points. In different Go to the inspection section here. Make sure our clip is highlighted. Make sure it's highlighted there. We're going to go to distort. And we're going to put a keyframe in, add a new keyframe. We're going to have to shrink our size down here so we can work with it. I'm going to go down to 25% just so I can see the whole thing. Now I want to pull this corner up, pull this corner out, pull this corner out. That's going to make our, our chandelier look kind of big, but you know what? We're going to just go ahead and pull this down here like this, all right? So now the next thing is we need to go to the next point in our, in our, in our area here where things start to go cattywampus. That would be about right here. You can see down here on the sides, we're starting to get some bows. So let's go ahead and we're going to go back to this store again. Leave that on. We're going to put in a new keyframe. And we're going to drop these walls back just a little bit because we've skewed them out too far now. And we're going to go a little farther. And okay, now it's really getting cattywampus there. We're going to put in another keyframe. We're going to go back like, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So we're going to just square the walls up one more time. Oops. Got to be careful with this. Skew them up, straighten them out a little bit. We're going to come down. We're going to start getting our perspective back, our, not our perspective, but our size back. Okay, how are we looking here? Looks pretty good. We need to, oops. Got to pull this up a little bit at the top right there, just so we're looking. How are we looking here? Maybe down a little on this corner. All right. Okay, we're gonna go a little farther, see where we go. Okay, now it's we're losing it again. We're losing it really serious here down at the bottom. So we're gonna put in another keyframe. We're gonna pull this tight like this, spin this around like this. I think we probably can actually pull it in a little bit. This corner, whoops. Gotta be careful with the full position change. Pull this down just a hair like that. Well, basically what we're doing is what you do in Photoshop if you had this a serious serious screw a serious <laughs> can't say that. A serious skew problem. Okay, so we're gonna pull it down there. Okay, that's pretty good now. It's not perfect, but we're gonna go a little bit farther. There we go. Pull this out a little bit. All right. And we're going to go to our last one where we've twisted it pretty seriously. So we're going to go right at the end right here. We'll put in another keyframe. And I'll spin this around like this. Pull this way down, way around. And we're going to maybe just. So we could probably slide it this way a little bit at the same time. So let's just go with that and see what happens. All right, so here we are. We're skewing it all around. So we're going to end up with this. All right, so as we skew through now, you're going to see we've got some massive changes going on, but we've got a totally different image there now than we had before. Now, I might have overdid that, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let it play through just so you can see what it looks like now. I see we have a problem on our right edge over there, don't we? Well, you have the idea now. You can rebuild it there as you uh, as you go along, but um, that's how it works. I'm going to have to redo this clip, but at least you can see how I did it.